Manakam Namaste and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. In this video, the question we are going to answer is when you ejaculate, how many sperms are actually released or when you ejaculate, how many sperms come out? Now, many people have the doubt, you know, that when ejaculation happens, are the sperms being properly deposited in the vagina? How many sperms are going to be deposited in the vagina? To understand this, uh, you must understand the physiology of ejaculation. So when ejaculation happens, the important point to know here is that the first few drops of uh, semen contains the sperm rich fraction that is a majority of the sperm to zoa in a large proportion of the sperm to zoa will be found in the first one or two drops of the semen so that means ejaculation should happen in the vagina strictly and you cannot partially ejaculate outside and then have a partial ejaculation inside so after penetrating your partner or your your loved, part, your loved one what is important to understand here is that you must ensure that withdrawal of the organ is done only after complete ejaculation happens because during the process of ejaculation, when you have an orgasm, the first one or two drops of the semen contains the sperm-rich fraction, SRF. It's called SRF and the sperm-rich fraction is basically, uh, basically denotes that the most number of sperm to zoa are found in those drops. And it's very interesting because, you know, when we do, you know, when patients collect a sample, you know, in an androgy laboratory, normally, you know, when we see a report, if we notice low semen volume, if we notice a low count, we ask the patient, did the patient spill the first two, three drops of the semen on the floor at the time of collecting the sample? And if the answer to the question is yes, we know that low semen volume report, all that low sperm, sperm count report could be wrong. So what's important to understand here is that the first couple of drops of the semen contains the highest fraction of motile spermatozoa. Some of the people, some, some some patients also have the question that after I withdraw the organ doctor, I see the semen back flowing. That's completely fine. Remember, when you ejaculate intravaginally, as early as two to three minutes after ejaculation, the spermatozoa are going to rapidly swim up and reach the fallopian tube. So, what happens after about 10 minutes of ejaculation is the semen is going to liquefy. So, the liquefaction time is where the, the coagulated thick semen becomes watery and it becomes thin and watery. So because it becomes liquefied, that is because it, lose, it loses its viscosity or it becomes liquefied by nature, what's going to happen? It's going to backflow down the vaginal canal and the seminal black flow is called effluvium seminus. That is a physiological process. 99 to 100% of couples will note that after ejaculation in 5 to 7 minutes, semen backflows. But what's most important is the first portion of the ejaculate, that is the initial, at the time of when a man gets his orgasm, the first portion of the ejaculate is probably deposited properly, properly in the vagina. And if that is if that happens, the chances of pregnancy is very high. More so if the woman is close to her ovulation period or the ovulation window. So I hope you found this uh, you know video useful and informative. And please like, comment and subscribe. And uh, you know the other one more bonus point here for you is that uh, when you ejaculate, how many sperms actually come comes out? That's not the right question because in fundamental, you need to know what is your sperm concentration per ml. So the sperm concentration, the normal sperm concentration per, per ml can range anywhere from about 13 million per ml to 16 million per ml. I hope this answers the question with some clarity. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe and share this video with all your friends. And now, this is Dr. Shah. I'll see you back with another video. Welcome.